Well, in case you didn't know, it's National Wildlife Week, and it's a week to promote protecting the beauty and diversity of wildlife. And joining us now to talk about Idaho's wildlife is the Public Lands Director at the Idaho Conservation League, John Robison. Thank you so much for joining us here today. My pleasure. So first of all, why is it important to have a National Wildlife Week? Well, it's very easy to take our wildlife for granted, unfortunately, and National Wildlife Week is a great reminder just about all the amazing creatures that uh, we share our public lands with in Idaho. And uh, it's just a great reminder about uh, what a great place Idaho is to live. You mentioned it, the amazing, amazing creatures we have here. What are some of the animals here in Idaho that need our help? Sure, so there's two species I'd really like to highlight. Uh, the first is the greater sage grouse. And greater sage grouse are an icon of the sagebrush sea and our rangelands out there. And um, this is a, uh, 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 right now is the mating season. And so uh, males and females are gathering on these dancing grounds or leks right at dawn at spring. And the males strut their stuff. It's a remarkable sight. But sage grouse numbers have dropped precipitously in the last several decades. And so they need our help. Um, for a couple of things we can do is one of the biggest risks to sage grouse are wildfires. And so when we're out recreating in the rangelands, it's really important to um, uh, stay on designated trails and not cross cut through the sagebrush or follow some illegal tracks. So you wanna stay on designated trails to avoid disturbing them and also be super careful with wildfires, with your campfire because uh, that can actually cause wildfires if you're not careful. Very interesting. Um, are there any resources or opportunities for people to get involved with the wildlife conservation in Idaho? Absolutely. And so this is one of the fantastic things about being in wildlife in, in Idaho because people are passionate about wildlife, whether they hunt or fish or just like to bird watch, whatever. So there's a number of groups out there. I'm with Idaho Conservation League and uh, we work putting volunteers out on wilderness storage programs and uh, other events like that. And so um, just look in your local paper, contact us. There's lots of opportunities. We actually have a, a wilderness stewards program coming up uh, for this coming summer to take care of our wilderness areas. Oh, very exciting. No doubt a lot of people are watching this and they're eager to get involved. Is there anything else you'd like our, our viewers to know right now who might be watching? Yeah, so Idaho is, um, is such a fantastic place and, and we really want folks to take this time, National Wildlife, we Wildlife Week, to stop, look for wildlife around them, look for hawks and uh, pollinators and just what's in your backyard, what's in the foothills, what's in the forest and give them space and leave their habitat a little better than you found it. And by working together, we can actually give them the room they need to survive so they can be with us for future generations. All right, a lot of good information there. Thank you, John Robison with the Idaho Conservation League. Thank you so much for joining us here on the News My Network. My pleasure. We'll be right back.